Before we get started, I'm sure many of you are interested in the FedEx MD-10 cargo fire emergency that occurred this week aboard an infamous airframe, the one involved in the 1994 Federal Express Flight 705 hijack attempt. There's a full-length visualization coming up this week, so make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss it. There's been strong backlash from Wizz Air Cruise this week after Wizz Air co-founder and CEO Joseph Varity suggested that fatigued workers should go the extra mile because the reputational and financial damage is huge when we cancel a flight. Uh, I mean, we cannot run this business when uh, every fifth person um, of a base reports sickness because uh, the person is, uh, is, is fatigued. Uh, uh, we are all fatigued, but sometimes, uh, Along with a frosty response from Wizz Air staff, the European Cockpit Association took to Twitter to call out a deficient safety culture, and a representative from the Austrian transport union Vida tweeted, I encourage EASA to have a closer look at the practices envisaged by the CEO of Wizz Air. After the video surfaced, Wizz Air released a statement saying that the clip was edited from an all-staff briefing that safety has and always will be Wizz Air's first priority, and Wizz Air has a robust and responsible crew management system. Did someone say something about reputational damage? On June 4, an Edelweiss Airbus A340-300 departed from Zurich, Switzerland as Flight 214. The expected flight time to Tenerife was about 4 hours 15 minutes. As the aircraft climbed out of runway 32, the crew reported that the aircraft had taken a lightning strike. Initially, the crew elected to continue the flight. As the aircraft approached the French-Spain border an hour and a quarter into the flight, the crew decided to return to Zurich. As a base for Edelweiss, Zurich has maintenance personnel and equipment able to service the A340 that Tenerife would not. Out of an abundance of caution, in case the aircraft was more damaged than expected, the decision was taken to return. Upon arrival in Zurich, multiple impacts were discovered on the fuselage, and the aircraft was temporarily grounded while maintenance was performed. On June 6, a Pakistan International Airlines ATR-72 departed from Gwadar as Flight 504. The 56 passengers and four crew noticed nothing out of the ordinary as the plane turned towards its destination, Karachi. Air traffic controllers in Gwadar's tower reported that a piece of rubber had been found on the runway, possibly from a tyre. The crew elected to continue to Karachi, advising controllers on their descent that they had a possible blown tyre. The aircraft landed safely and taxied to the apron, where it was discovered that the left inboard main tyre was damaged. Pakistan's AIB is investigating the cause of the blown tyre. 